happening? So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my, not bat cave, but my pain cave. It's my Wahoo pain cave slash office. And this is something I've been wanting to set up for a very, very long time. So let's get inside. All right, here we are. It's not the biggest office in pain cave, but I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough and share with you all the components that put this whole space together and uh, all the sentimental value that's within it and my full setup of my Wahoo Kicker Core that I use for training and um, my YouTube office work slash setup for all my videos and everything I do for research and everything that I pour into my channel pretty much. And life is in this room, so let's get to it. So first off, um, welcome. <laughs> uh, this is my Wahoo Pain Cave slash office in Miami, Florida. I recently moved here from New York, as some of you may already know. For those of you who are new to the channel, um, definitely hit the subscribe button so you can kind of like come along for the journey and learn more about how this all came together uh, because it was definitely all a process that took a long, long time. I've never had this space before. So I'm just super thankful for being able to, to have this and be able to use this um, right here in the comfort of my own home. Um, coming from New York, you know, the winter time, it'd be extremely cold and I'd be outside riding, but oftentimes, you know, when it's at the brink of winter, you're like, you know, you don't want to be riding outdoors. So what do you do? You just stay inside. I never had the opportunity to get a Wahoo trainer before, so I'd just be riding on my rollers. And so now um, that's changed up a little bit. I've been able to, to have one of these and I set it up in this space where I have a dedicated room now, cause, which I never had before. And um, I'm able to train. So. More recently, um, I've been training for the Vermont Overland, which I have in the next month and month and a half. And so I've been training in the hills with this Wahoo Kicker Core trainer. And uh, let's just talk a little bit about that. So right here is my Wahoo Kicker Core. And, uh, you know, between this one and the Wahoo Kicker, the original one, the reason why I purchased this one was because uh, it's a little bit smaller and more compact than the Wahoo kicker and um, it's just easier to stow away in a small space and that's one of the big reasons why I got it um, you know this this trainer folds right up and I'm able to store it right inside my closet right here um, one of the differences between this one and the Wahoo kicker is the power output you're not going to be able to, to clock over a, a, I believe a was it 1500 watts or something like that um, or maybe even a little more than that but um that's totally fine. You know, like my body, if I'm in a race on Wahoo, on the Zwift, I'll be able to, to maybe clock that much, but it may not be able to record it through this system. But I mean, that's, um, you know, a marginal difference between this one and, and the kicker. I think the upside with this is being able that it's compact. Um, it's an updated um, electronic flywheel which is really cool. Um, and it's just easier to stow away, you know? I, I like it a lot. And with this, I also purchased a few accessories. You'll see I have the Wagyu mat that I laid out in this space. Highly recommend the, the mat. And, um, you know, it's super doable. When you're sweating, you know, you're gonna, it's gonna pour all on there. So definitely have that to keep your floors clean. I also purchased the Wahoo Kicker fan, which is super awesome. One of the benefits about this fan is that it has the uh, Bluetooth power, that the Bluetooth connection with your heart rate. So when you're riding on the bike, depending on like your heart rate, it'll blow the air based off of your heart rate. And it just, to me, that was the, the selling point. That's what really made me purchase this fan. And um, it's amazing. It's probably, you know, I was going to get a standalone, like, oscillating fan. But the fact that this one just, like, blows air based off of your heart rate, to me, was just like, come on. Like, 
I'll, I, I expect the extra cash to do that, you know? So that's one of the big benefits of the Wahoo Cooker fan. I highly, highly recommend it. Especially like if you don't want constant air blowing in your face, this will blow in you, your face, at, depending on your heart rate. So if you're putting in really hard efforts, then um, you know you don't have to worry about like the fan blowing too much air. Especially like if you get a little chilly on the bike, you know, which you probably shouldn't be getting chilly anyway, because you should be working hard and sweating, right? <laughs> um, so. You know, it took me some time to do a lot of research to find the right, the right um, trainer. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get the original kicker. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with a different brand. Um, I stand behind Wahoo products. And when I was training for SBT Gravel, um, I was working with the Rapid Richard Justice team and Coach Neil Henderson, who is a sports scientist for Wahoo. And he recommended that we all get the trainers. And so at the time, I didn't wasn't able to get one. But uh, later that year, I did purchase one. And it was the best decision I've ever made because I'm able to continue riding throughout the year, no matter if it's cold, no matter um, if I want to get a ride indoor, if I don't want to go outside that day, if it's raining, um, and I want to get my bike all messy and gross. I can set my bike up indoor and be able to ride right on Zwift. Now let's talk about Zwift. Zwift is awesome. Um, the great thing about Zwift is that um, it is subscription based, but it's awesome because it, and it's it's great because you can ride with anyone around the world. So depending on where um, people are, depending on where you are, it does not matter. You can hop online, you can connect your bike to it via Bluetooth, and you'll be able to ride with people. And you can set up group rides, you can do races, you can set up training rides, you can have a pacer. It's just you can ride by yourself too if you want to get some big miles in. So I highly recommend it. Um, there's other software programs out there, but Zwift, you know, if you want to build community and you want to be online and, you know, connect it with other softwares like Strava and things like that, you know, this is the one to go with for sure. So I highly recommend it. I want to talk a little bit about my desk because I've been getting some questions about that um, in an earlier video that I made. And um, this desk is a, a standing desk. It's an electronic standing desk. And so... If I want to, you know, right now, for me, I'm a pretty tall guy. I'm 6'1", and oftentimes I, uh, it, it kind of sucks to find desks that are actually comfortable for me because, because my knees always hit underneath them, the tabletop. So with this one, I can adjust it now, and it'll be at the perfect height so that I don't have to worry about that anymore. And if I want to, of course, um, change the height, all I got to do is just press a button here. So I have three buttons, I already preset them. So if I want this one to be up a little higher, what I'll do if I'm standing up during work, uh, throughout the day, if I'm like talking in a meeting or whatever, I could, let me just stand up with it. and see it go up. I could now just be at my desk here and just talk during meetings and pretty much, you know, I like to do edits like this too when I'm editing YouTube videos. I sometimes like to stand up and uh, it's just a good way to just, you know, interact with what you're doing, uh, who, whatever it is you're talking to. Sometimes I talk to my friends on here as well via Zoom. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, there's so many cool ways to use this desk. It also is a great way to alleviate a lot of stress in your back. You know, oftentimes I'm sitting uh, throughout the day during work and, you know, it's just kind of, you know, a lot of tension and friction that builds up when you're sitting down in the seat. So it's good to just kind of get out the seat once in a while and stretch out your back, stretch out your legs a bit, get that blood flowing, and then um, just be a bit more interactive with whatever it is that you're working on. So this is a huge bonus for me in being able to have as well. Um, when I'm doing my Zwift training, sometimes I like to raise it up a little uh, lower than this. When I'm on the bike, I'm seated, so I don't want to be looking up you want to be at eye level. So what's great about this setup is that I can just dip it down in the third setting and that dips it down a little bit lower than my normal height from when I'm sitting. And it's about perfect for me. And then I just tilt the screen over a little bit and um, I'm able to basically ride with the screen in front of me without having to tilt my head up too high or too low when I'm riding. So it's just perfect. Um, I got a little mat here 
that spreads alongside the entire desktop, the tabletop. And this tabletop, by the way, uh, dimensions is 55 inches wide by 27 inches long. So that's the, the total width of it. I didn't, you know, they can come a lot wider and with more depth, but this is perfect for me and for this space here. Um, next to it, I have the Alex draw that I got from Ikea, which is also a, a bonus for me. It has about lots of different components, lots of different draws in here where I keep and stow away all my stuff. I have my batteries there, all my GoPro and electronic cables are in there with extra batteries. And um, I have a nice file cabinet down here where I keep things that I typically won't be using very much. I got my spinning book in there when I used to do classes and stuff. And I also have my collection of books. So these are some of my books here. I got Feed Zone, which is awesome. That's by the CEO of Scratch. Um, super good book. Lots of good tips in there about different foods and stuff that you can use uh, for training and you know all that good stuff. So definitely check that out and get that in your collection if you don't already. I've got Desert Sol Solitaire, which I'm still uh, reading actually. I gotta dive back in that when I put that down for a little bit. Um, one of my favorite books in this collection is um, the How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy by Paul Sheck. That one is an amazing book um, about a quarter way in so far but so far it is amazing it talks a lot about um the body and the mind and how they connect and how you should basically layer your foods when you're eating so that's which is super important you know and sort of like being on a schedule as well and i got some photo books in here as well and um you know of course i got the new york blue book and i have my plant this is miss fiddle um uh, my girlfriend and i named her miss fiddle I've always loved uh, fiddly figs. Uh, their plants, uh, beautiful. You know, they're very thick, robust veins that go along throughout the uh, leaves of the of the plant, and uh, it's super healthy. It's been it's been looking really good. So um, happy about that. I've always wanted a plant. I feel like they bring life to the space. Um, I have my signs in here from when I was on tour from New York to California back in 2015, and I found all these in each of the states that they're in, um, California, Utah, and Colorado. So I found them on the road and just picked them up and threw them in my pannier. <laughs> and that's me right there. Hello, how you doing? With my cool shirt that I found in uh, Florida here. It's a shark on a bike. <laughs> um, and then I have my, my old friend Mickey here. And this is when we were on the Cocopelli Trail. This is uh, back in 2016 or 17, 16, 2016. Uh, that was day one. That was such an awesome trip of a five day journey. Uh, one of my first bike packing trips. And this is a photograph that I shot with my drone in uh, the Cook Islands. This is One Foot Island, which is um, a beautiful island that is shaped of a foot. Yeah, Google that one. Google that one, you're gonna laugh because it's in the middle of nowhere, but uh, it is freaking beautiful. The places my girlfriend takes me sometimes, man, I, I tell you, she knows how to travel. <laughs> I'm super lucky. Um, and then I have my couch here. This is, uh, you know, in any event, the lady wants to come in and, and watch me suffer. She could if she'd like to, but she often does not. But it's a space where we can also just chill. And uh, as I'm editing or just want to like, you know, spend some more time in the office, she can come through and we can chat you know, plan our, our lives and just talk about our next adventures together. And I have my like cool uh, lamp right here, which is like a nice cool photo lamp that um, just reminds me of like an industrial style lamp setup. It's really nice um, incandescent light that just kind of gives it a nice vibe in here at nighttime. And we have a few masks that we picked up in Africa. We went to go visit um, a, a few years ago. And yeah, I mean, this is the space. And I have my gravel bike right here, my Arbus Hockey MX, and that's mounted to the Shimano Pro bike stand. It's a little bit um, busy back there right now, but I highly recommend getting a bike stand for your bikes. Um, this one just sits up tall so that it doesn't have to lean on the wall or anything. So I have that there, and I have my 
Trek Imonda ALR mounted to the Wahokika core. So all is looking good in the office space. I'm gonna open up the door so y'all can just see it one last time. And that is it. Yeah, I mean, look, let me know if y'all have any questions about the video that I just shared today. Anything about this uh, trainer? Just drop your questions in the video below and then I'll just I'll make comments accordingly. If you wanna know anything else about the space, the desk, um, you know, some of the book collection that I have here and what have you. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here for a while, thank you for joining. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.